Okay guys, welcome to this Ableton testing and benchmark video. So here I'm going to test three different systems. It's going to be the iMac 27 inch with the Intel i9 processor from 2020 with 64 gigabytes of RAM. The next system is going to be a MacBook Air with the M1 chip and with eight gigabytes of RAM. And then the third system is going to be a MacBook Pro 16 inch with the new M1 Pro chip and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So the first test is going to be the Ableton demo project that I'm going to play at the same time on all of these three different systems. And there you can see the CPU meter, how that acts on the same time frame as the other systems. Then I'm going to do the next test, which is a simple grand piano that comes with Ableton and I'm going to duplicate this track and you can have the same test uh, on your own system so even though you're using a different Mac system for instance or a different Windows system you can just download this project file and test it on your own. I will also link to a blog post where you can drop your own results from this test and compare it to the different other tests that users have done. Okay guys, so you can see here I have the MacBook Pro, the brand new one with the M1 Pro chip and it's a 16 gigabyte RAM uh, system. So here I'm going to start up this test. It's basically a grand piano with a limiter on the master and that's it. And it's playing some notes. So you can hear, see here we have six uh, notes playing at the same time. So that's the only thing that's going on here basically. So let's play this now. You can see it's just playing fine. And now I'm going to duplicate these tracks here. So this is the same thing that you're going to do if you want to do the test. It's to just duplicate this track. So you just click here and uh, go with uh, Command D to duplicate the tracks like that. And then you can see our CPU is working here. And the goal here is to have a clean sound. So sometimes the CPU can go over 100%, but you will hear some crackling, uh, crackling noise or 
you can't hear the audio properly. And that is when you want to delete tracks from here. So uh, you want to have as many tracks as you can without the audio being distorted or just sounding crap. So you want it to be clean sounding and uh, as soon as you're adding one more track on that and you can hear the audio is starting to sound like crap, then you're deleting it and that is the count. Uh, that is the number of tracks that you can have in on your system in this test. So here you can see we have 14 track. Let's try this out. And it's showing us around 40% of the CPU. Uh, so let's duplicate some more tracks here. Let's go with 20 for now. Uh, let's wait until the CPU is going down like that and let's play. So it's showing around 60%, pretty good. Let's duplicate this. Let's go with uh, 30 tracks. Starting to get a bit slow when duplicating. Okay, so let's start this now. You can see it starts to have some difficulties playing it, uh, but it's still showing around 80%. And as you can see here, I have the average meter on, uh, so not the current. So uh, let's duplicate five more tracks. Let's see how it reacts on that. Okay, so we have 35 tracks. Let's play it. it that was not good, so let's delete one by one until we can hear the sound playing clean. delete the 34th let's wait until the CPU goes down still can't play it okay so 32 track let's do one more again just to see if it works with 33 or not no. So 32 is our track amount that we can have on the new MacBook Pro 16 inch with uh, M1 Pro uh, CPU. So let's do the same test with the MacBook Air M1, which was released in 2020 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. So let's see how that goes. So you can see we have our test. Uh, let's just play to see if it uh, plays. Of course it does. We can see it's uh, start to struggling uh, with only one track. So uh, let's do 10 tracks for now. And you can see as soon as I duplicate the track, the CPU meter goes all crazy. Okay, I have 10 tracks. Let's wait it out and play. Okay, it plays 10 tracks, but it's getting a bit much for our M1 MacBook Air here. Let's try to make five more tracks. That was too much. Let's wait it out. Too much. Let's delete one by one here. Still too much. Okay, so I think 12 tracks will be uh, the maximum amount. Yeah, definitely tw 12 tracks here. So uh, let's go on to our next system, which is an iMac i9 3.6 GHz. And it's a 2020 machine and it has 64 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, so we got this one track here. Uh, let's just play it. Plays all fine. So let's do 10 tracks for now. Plays without any problems at all. And let's go with 20 tracks.
still plays without any problems at all. So what I'm going to do here is to select all of these 20 tracks and uh, make a duplicate of all of those. So we'll have 40 tracks in total. Yeah, then we have our 40 tracks. So you can see it still does this very good. So uh, let's go with, um, okay, let's go a bit crazy here and make 80 tracks. Okay, so here we have 80 tracks. Let's play it. Still works really, really good. Uh, so let's do 160 tracks. I'm going to just make it double here and see where it takes us. Okay, so that took a while, but now we have our 160 track. Let's see how this goes. It still works pretty good. Uh, the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip did only 32 tracks. This one, we're up on 160 tracks and it still works pretty good. So I'm going to go even more crazy here and double it again. So 320 tracks, if my math is correct. Let's do a duplicate of this. All right, so we have our 320 tracks. Let's play this. Yeah, that does not work at all. So I'm going to um, delete, let's see here. Let's go to around 250 tracks. Let's try that one out. Okay, so deleting everything underneath the twin 250th track. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Still lags a bit. So I'm going to take away some tracks here and I'm going to see uh, how many tracks will be the perfect amount for this computer here. 